Welcome, everybody. Thanks for joining us for NBA Action on 2K Sports. Alongside Doris Burke and Greg Anthony, this is Kevin Harlan. And on the sidelines, Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Now let's take a look at the starters for New Orleans. Up front, it's Williamson at the four. And Valanciunas at the five. Running on the wing, they'll have Jones and Ingram. And it's McCollum in at the point guard. And for Las Vegas, Jackson is out there with JaVale McGee. Then it's Damian Lillard. Then it's Pierce. And it's Jordan in a two guard. Tip off goes to Las Vegas. Now here's Lillard. Pass to Pierce. Left side, Jordan. Plays it up and banks it in. And you can just see the extraordinary competitiveness. MJ staying laser focused after absorbing the contact. Now here's Valanciunas. Ingram outside. Here's the three. Rebounded by McGee. And here's Lillard. He brings it up for Las Vegas. Here's Jordan. And Jordan slams it home. Won't find a much more entertaining sight. I call that slam dunk contest level. Here's McCollum. Accurate with a jumper from the elbow. Poor design there defensively. They, they know he's a knockdown shooter from that spot. That's not coming with the right mentality. The defender neither closes the space nor challenges the shot. That's frustrating as a coach, boy. Now, Williamson following the three-point attempt by Pierce. Here's Ingram. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. It's on JaVale McGee. And you look at the way Ingram can get off a shot. When he gets to his spots, there's just no stopping him. Very few players can create like he can. A creator indeed. And the name you always hear, Greg, with Ingram as a comparison, Kevin Durant. And that's about as fair a comp as you'll find. Ingram is special with how he can rise up over defenders with that shot. It makes him a lethal weapon late in the game. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. And the defining trait of the greatest of superstars, Jordan makes the players around him better, mentally in terms of effort and in terms of their performance. And so Jordan nails both of them. You want to contest this guy's shot, but you absolutely don't want to send him to the line. He will make you pay. Knocked loose. Valanciunas passes to McCollum, hands it from downtown. McCollum's got five for three. Boy, that play developed just the way they wanted, and Valanciunas made sure they got the bucket. What a tremendous pass. Offensive rebound, McGee. And terrific work on the offensive glass, and he picks up two. And this is something this guy takes pride in, capitalizing on second-chance opportunities. Cullen passes to Ingram. If you're just tuning in, we played about two and a half minutes here in the first. Over Pierce. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. That's on Paul Pierce. Yeah, wildly moved by Ingram. Able to come up with the foul and get that shot in the air. And he's good on the second. Now Lillard. McGee trying to break free. And it's Lillard missing. Ingram wide open. And the Pelicans miss again. And here's Las Vegas. Rejected by Ingram. And great use of length by Ingram. Able to reach out and get his hand on the ball for a block. We're about three minutes into this first quarter. Down low, here's Valanciunas. And it's Valanciunas finishing it off. And he just punishes the D for falling asleep at the wheel. Yeah, a little bit disorganized that time. And the result, two points in the loudest way possible. 
Yeah, sometimes aggression can overcome certain offensive limitations. You saw it right there. And it's a completely new group for Las Vegas. Kuzi with the bucket. Two minutes tell you, Kuzi is, is pretty crafty down there on the block, has that sense of how to score in traffic. Pass to Hayes. 139 left to play in the first quarter. Now Las Vegas moving it up. Here's Griffin, and Griffin slams it in. And that's his strongest trait, the, the unselfishness from Kuzi. Fantastic at realizing when one of his guys has an opportunity for a clean look. And there's the call on Devin Booker. That is his first foul of the game. 13 foul. They're going to turn it over. They couldn't get it in bounds that time. Home team ball. One twenty-one left in the first quarter. From deep, it's rebounded by Hayes. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the game here. That's good from Richardson. Hard not to root for a guy like Josh Richardson. Remember, he's a former second round pick, but this guy put the time in the gym. He's an excellent teammate, and now he's a valuable rotation piece and an excellent two way player. Driving inside. And yes, it's good. Cruz, he's got his second bucket of the game to go. And what's your take, guys, on the hustle sticks for Las Vegas? I mean, they've come out aggressive defensively, getting into them, and, and coming up with some cookies along the way. I think the other thing they're doing is they're wearing out the opponent in transition, exploding up the floor for easy chances. Here's Richardson after the basket by Las Vegas, and it's blocked. Here's Griffin. That's his second shot and his second basket. He's two for two. And they've repeatedly probed inside in the first half, guys. And, and it's paid off. It's nine seconds separating the shot clock and game. Richards in the pass to Hayes. And Hayes throws it down. <laughs> a big man with a big finish. Las Vegas leading by three. And a deep three from Booker. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Booker. And the Pelicans making a change here. And we got to take a second look to admire that outstanding block. And right out of the gate, trying to set the tone defensively, you got to love that energy. Richardson against Booker. Pass to Marshall. Fires the three. That's tipped. And so it looks like the Pelicans will retain possession here. Here's Alvarado. And that concludes a back and forth high scoring first quarter of play. Las Vegas leads by just three. And don't go away. We'll be back momentarily. 13. Some good action already in this one, but a fairly even matchup after the first quarter of play. And from what we've seen from Las Vegas so far, guys, what are you seeing? Yeah, in that first period, they look to push in transition at every opportunity. And why wouldn't they? You see their effectiveness in the open floor. Very difficult to slow down. And so it's New Orleans with it. It's a three-point game. So with Griffin sitting on the bench, here's how the floor looks for Greg Popovich. You've got Jordan on out there with Jaron Jackson. And there's JaVale McGee. And it's Westbrook in at the one spot. This is his third trip to the free throw line in the game. And he knocks down the first one. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. And so Westbrook will bring it up for Las Vegas. Brown outside. Tries again. And the layup good by McGee. How about the purpose with which he's crashing the backboard right now? Some hard-earned second-chance points. 
Ingram with it. Five points in the game. Hernan Gomez with a screen on Brown. Who's back up? McGee with the block. And it's out of bounds. They say it was last touch by McGee. So for Las Vegas, Pierce has checked in for Jalen Brown. And Damian Lillard subbed in for Russell Westbrook. Valanciunas is checked in for the Pelicans. McCollum. Here's McCollum. Kicks it out to Jones. Ingram deciding where to go with it. Down to five on the shot clock. Ingram drawing the double team. I divine Valanciunas. It's to him. When Valanciunas forces the issue like that, he is really tough to handle. He does a good job drawing contact. It's his first trip to the line. And they haven't let points get away from them at the line tonight. That's always something that will allow a coaching staff to breathe a little easier. This is what makes him a challenge to stop. He will beat you from the floor, and he can also beat you from the line. And you see the leadership of Lillard in that sequence, keeping everyone involved, not looking to do it all himself, but creating for his teammate. Orleans trails by three. Poked away. Here's Jackson. And it's good assisting on the play was Miller. And that's how to make an impact with defense. Once the steal is made, you know they're going to be scattered. McCollum against Lillard, and stolen by Lillard. Now Las Vegas moving it up. McGee with no one around. Oh, and it's off. They can't cash in on the break. Yeah, clearly struggling here with the foul. Still early, and just one more will put him over the limit. The Pelicans have knocked down eight of nine free throw attempts. I'd say those numbers read pretty well. And Las Vegas making a change here. Cows checked back in, and a change for the Pelicans. Hayes is checked in. Jones, the pass to Valanciunas. He dishes it to McCollum. Kicks it out to Jones. And again, New Orleans has no luck. Las Vegas leading by four. It's Jordan with the drop. And the dunk by Jordan. Yeah, just forcing the issue offensively. The great thing about Jordan, he does it while staying under control. McCollum against Lillard. That one, no good. And it's Las Vegas the other way. Out of bounds, New Orleans will take possession. Poor decision there to heed the ball so far down the court. I mean, there's plenty of better places to go with it. Booker, he's checked in for Jordan. And here in the second quarter of action with a hair under two and a half minutes played so far. Richardson gets a wide open look. It's good from long range. Well, think about it. Back in his rookie year, this is a guy who shot 46% from deep. Go ahead, Josh Richardson from three. Not the kind of aggressive defense they need to cut into the lead. Yeah, you have to protect the rim, Greg, a little better. They're just too slow to react. You can't afford to sleepwalk through possessions. What's going on out there? And there's the pass to Alvarado. Now here's Hayes, guarded by Jackson. Shot clock at six. New Orleans needs to get off a shot. Fires from the wing. And misses it off the right side of the rim. Las Vegas leading by five. Lillard outside. Sinks the triple. Lillard's got his first three points of the game. Well, what you love about Devin Booker, this guy, yes, he is a shoot-first player. But if somebody's open, he will find you. Hayes finds Jones. New Orleans moving the ball around. Here's Valanciunas. That one falls, his second basket of the game. He's now two for three. You know, being that wide open sometimes leads to a miss, but that fadeaway was money. And they get it back. Booker outside. Shoots the three, and the three ball is good. Booker's got the lead up to nine now for Las Vegas. You've got to be shot ready in this instance. On the catch, prepared to shoot Devin Booker. Yes, sir. Valanciunas sets a screen for Hayes. At the elbow with Valanciunas. And there's the call on Yao. That is his first foul of the game. So both teams changing it up here. Substitution on the court. Fifty-two seconds left in the first half. 
Hands a screen on Booker. Randall brings the double team. Four on the clock. And Marshall kicks to Richardson. It's deflected. And that's out of bounds. New Orleans will retain possession. Griffin's check in for Las Vegas. There's 38 seconds left now here in the second. There's 38 seconds left in the second quarter. Kuzi passes to Griffin. Chance there to push it to double digits, but it's off the mark. New Orleans trails by nine. Pass to Marshall. He kicks it to Nance. To the middle. It's stolen by Brown. Now here's Griffin. He right on him. And Griffin slams it in. I think Brown demonstrating he's got a great understanding of the game. He keeps his head moving, his eyes open, so he can spot the open man. And so it's Las Vegas. They lead at 11 points to end the quarter. They're shooting the ball so well in this one. A great performance from the field. We'll return shortly. 23. With a big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. We've seen Michael Jordan really having a great game. He's done a fantastic job of finding open space to operate within the first few quarters. One of the things every player is after is efficiency at the offensive end. And boy, this young guy has done just that. Tipping off the second half, here's Willie Green's five. Running on the wing, they'll have Jones and Ingram. Up front, it's Williamson at the four. And Valen Junis at the five. And it's McCollum in at the point guard position. Now, here's Jordan. That one is good. He's only missed one shot of his six taken on the floor. The high percentage look for Jordan. It has every move you could ask for in the painted area. McCollum feeling it out a bit. Shoots over Lillard. It's rebounded by Las Vegas. McGee's got four rebounds in this game. Las Vegas shooting their third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. Michael Jordan at the line for two. Free throw good, Jordan. He hits both from the strike. And so it's Ingram who brings up the ball for the Pelicans. Trailing by 13. Over Pierce. And that one's good. Ingram. Ingram's got four points this quarter. And the whole court is open for Ingram. He, he's got the accuracy to hit that from mid-range. They get it back. The shot's good from McGee. McGee's got the lead up to 13 now for Las Vegas. And boy, he can see blood in the water attacking a somewhat helpless team right now. Well, you love that there's no let up in how they're playing. They want to dominate every aspect, including second chance points. Now here's Jackson following the miss by C.J. McCollum. From outside the arc, JaVale McGee grabs the miss. McGee 
He's got six rebounds here tonight. And the way C.J. McCollum Gray can get a shot up while moving, that's a big part of his game, isn't it? Yeah, very few players can shoot as well as McCollum on the run. Applies for his pull-up jumpers or when he's falling out of bounds. McCollum, one of the best in the league. Ever. Now, here's Lillard. Brian Williamson unable to get his last shot to go. Outstanding handles from the clever guard. Lillard crafty with it in his hand and can create for anybody. That was the second look at our mobile one drive. Amazing control on display. And putting that pressure on the rim. That's what it's all about. Threatening with that attack. And Valanciunas kicks to McCullough. And the Pelicans miss again. I'll tell you, this has not been his game. He's making it worse with shot selection like that. Lillard, the pass to Jordan. And there's a whistle. That goes on Herbert Jones. That'll be his second foul of the game. And Las Vegas making a change here. Westbrook's checked in. New Orleans also making some changes. Hayes comes in for Valanciunas. And Garrett Temple subbed in for Jones. And that's a block right there. He swats that ball away with some energy. And this is how you protect and grow a lead by making a huge effort on that end of the floor. New Orleans trails by 15. Knocks it loose and stolen by Jordan. To the inside, Jackson, and Jackson throws it down hard. Yeah, and this is what happens when you have a score like Jordan on the floor. He attracts all that attention defensively, leaving guys wide open. Here's Temple, defended by Jordan. Timeout is called first of the game for the Pelicans. One fifty-six left to play in the third. Back to Nance. That's tipped. And now Randall pushing it up, and no one back to stop him. Oh, and the jam by Westbrook. Well, keep your head up. Look for an opportunity to facilitate Julius Randall the delivery. One thirty-six left to play in the third. Passes it to Temple. to the paint. Here's Hernan Gomez. A good finish at the rack off the slick feet. Hernan Gomez has got his first two points. And that's one thing about Willie. He has no trouble being aggressive, particularly when operating close. That's a finish he'll be bragging about for a while. <laughs> As he should. Very impressive. How about that from your point guard, gentlemen? Playing big at the rim. Okay. Now here's Nance. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Temple finds Hernan Gomez. There's the double team with Westbrook. Now Las Vegas moving it up. Brown's got the ball. Can't cash in from close range. New Orleans trails by 19. Here's Alvarado. Uses the glass to finish the lane. Well, so great when your offense produces a shot that close to the rim. The rest of the work becomes easier. And Westbrook, here we go. And Westbrook throws it down hard. This guy is an incredible dunker in space. The defense just says, let me step back here. Here's Alvarado. Eight second difference between the shot clock and the game. Nance against Randall. Hernan Gomez with a screen for Nance. Inside. And there's the block. Just stops it cold and takes possession. Here's Westbrook. And finished off by Westbrook. Well, what an excellent handle Russell Westbrook has. And that allows him to shred the defense with these quick drives. Here's Alvarado. And some nice defense there to end the quarter. And at the end of the third quarter, a huge lead. And this one may already have been decided. Las Vegas ahead, delivering the blowout. And time to step aside quickly, but we'll be back in no time with the start of the... 
How about a look at today's State Farm assist of the game? Yeah, an easy choice tonight. Look at the precision on this pass. Put it on a platter for him. And when you're the beneficiary of a pass that good, you better deliver. And he did just that. And we reach the fourth quarter in a game that may be already out of hand. Jordan Jackson is out there with Griffin. And there's JaVale McGee. And it's Michael Jordan, and it's Kuzi in at the one. Jordan with it. Now, Valanciunas defending. Jonas Valanciunas. Second personal foul. First team foul. Here's Jordan. It's good. And there's a block called in the play. He'll get one free throw. And there are nights it really doesn't matter what you do defensively. MJ is going to score. And this is looking like one of those nights. To the paint. And the rejection by Jackson. No question. He got bumped on that shot. And let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for Las Vegas. They bullied the defense here in the paint. Look at all of those buckets inside just hard to defend in the paint well I also notice guys how much they move the ball in this one selfless willing to pass the ball to a teammate with a better look and a bruising fundamentally sound big man Valanchunas is a throwback more importantly he's willing to play whatever role is asked of him. getting it done on both ends and it shows up in the score well, what I love is the energy they're bringing right now. They're ignoring the scoreboard and playing hard. Free throw good, Jordan. And here is Ingram. Down low, here's Valanciunas. Can't hit from in close. And you have to like how they're moving the ball right now. Snappy passes to ready shooters. It's basketball 101, but boy, is it working. Kuzi can hit. And so it's Ingram who brings up the ball for the Pelicans. Here's McCollum. Knocks down the step back, Jay. What a professional. McCollum's reliability on offense is such a gift to his team. Kuzi passes to Griffin. Shakes over Ingram. Las Vegas again missing. Poke loose. Fourth quarter now. We're about a minute and a half in. Is it alive? Williamson on the follow. Yeah, using his vertical on the offensive glass, Williamson is adept at reading misses and pouncing on second chance opportunities. And slam dunk by Jordan. And this is what we've come to expect from this guy, right? Not only making a ton of shots, but being efficient while doing so. Now a timeout called by New Orleans. Let's present our New Balance player of the game, Michael Jordan. And his percentage from the field tonight seemed almost made up. I, I didn't think it was possible to have that kind of success shooting the basketball. You, you need a little bit of luck, a bunch of hard work, and a whole lot of talent. What a connection he has to these fans. They love him here. And the more he has games like this, the deeper that connection gets. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. It goes on Brandon Ingram. 13 foul. Free throw good, Jordan. Michael Jordan. Two shots. And both free throws good for Jordan. And here are the Pelicans now. Pass to Valanciunas. Just under two and a half minutes gone here in the final quarter. Good on the shot. Now efficient scoring in the post. Just one of the reasons Valanchunas is out there. Here's Jordan. Oh, jams it right over Valanchunas. Wow. Wow. We are going to remember that one oh, for a while. I know I will, Greg. That, that was special. That was really special. Valanchunas with a screen on Pierce. Here's Ingram. Rebounded by Jackson. 
They have been really controlling this one. You never want to be complacent on the floor. That's when you lose momentum. Yeah, it's like he just keeps going up and up. Limitless vertical for MJ. So it's the Pelicans now. And the whistle blows is going to be on Damian Lillard. That is his first foul of the game. A big group substitution here for New Orleans. Hernan Gomez is checked in for Jonas Valanciunas. Jackson Hayes comes in for Zion Williamson. Richardson, he's checked in for Brandon Ingram. And Daniels subbed in for Jones. A split second late, but almost came up with a steal there. Absolutely appreciate the effort, though. He really went after it so close. New Orleans making a switch here. Alvarado's checked in. McGee trying to break free. You know, Dane loves to test the defense like that. Runs up against it and then outworks them. That free throw good from Lillard. At the line for two. And both free throws good for Damian Lillard. Here's Alvarado. Kicks it to Hayes. A look at the clock. A little under three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth. Hernan Gomez, no good. Boy, that's the kind of look this offense is designed to create. That's just a tough miss. It's Jordan with the drop. Yeah, reading the defense, knowing exactly what's needed at each moment. That's one of Jordan's unsung talents. Alvarado passes to Richardson. Ball's knocked loose. Stolen by Pierce. It's Jordan, top of the key. Pelicans with the rebound. Well, he's a quality mid-range shooter, but he can't get that one to go. Home team foul. Jaron Jackson Jr. Fourth personal foul. Third that free throw good from Daniels. And Las Vegas will go for a different look here. Yao, he's checked in for JaVale McGee. Randall comes in for Jackson. Griffin's checked in for Pierce. And Russell Westbrook subbed in for Damian Lillard. And he gets contact and the whistle on the shot. Two shots coming up. And New Orleans gets called for the foul. He throw good, Jordan. New Orleans making a switch here. Temple's checked in. And so Jordan nails both of them. And here are the Pelicans now. And the pass to Hayes. Now Daniels. 50 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Back to Hayes. Yow with the block. Oh, this is the impact Ming makes defensively using that huge reach to block or alter shots. Three on the clock. Griffin with the steal. Here's Jordan, and Jordan slams it home. And that dunk reverberated throughout this entire building. It sure did, up high and down hard on the windmill flush. We've got a nine second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Alvarado passes to Hayes. Some nice passing here by New Orleans. Randall brings the double team. Let's the three fly. Griffin with some nice D. Now here's Jordan. And it's Jordan slamming it down. Making every effort to put this game on ice. Well, just terrific teamwork. Each guy doing his part. You love what you're seeing from them tonight. So we see Las Vegas taking the W here. It was a tale of two teams tonight, one that was in total control, operating flawlessly, and the other just searching for answers that they could never find. I mean, the energy here is just so tremendous. Fans involved from the get-go, and once they started to really pour it on, it was fun to see that rhythm and flow from their perspective. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for tuning in. See you next time.